Hello and welcome to another edition of the Science Chef Educational Series on Chemistry. In today's video, we've been learning about the industrial manufacture of sodium trihydrocarbonate 4, also known as the survey process. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the raw materials using the survey process and their functions, state the major product and byproduct of the process, write balance equations of the reactions involved in the process, state the economics of the survey process, and finally, you should be able to state the uses of sodium trioxocarbonate 4. Have you ever wondered what is used in making your glasswares at home and in the laboratory? Sodium trioxocarbonate 4, commonly known as soda ash, is an important heavy chemical used in the manufacture of glass and as a water softener in soaps and detergents. It is also used in the manufacture of borax and paper. In the laboratory, it is used for standardizing acids due to its non-deliquescent nature. Commercially, it is manufactured in the survey tower by using limestone and ammoniacal brine as the raw materials. Ammoniacal brine is a mixture of ammonia dissolving 28% concentrated sodium chloride solution called brine. Carbon 4 oxide obtained from the thermal decomposition of limestone is made to react with ammonia at the top of the tower to form ammonium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 according to the equation. The ammonium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 then reacts with the sodium chloride to yield sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 and ammonium chloride as shown in the equation. The sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 being slightly so obtained from limestone deposits. The quick lime obtained from heating the limestone can also be made to react with the ammonium chloride left after the precipitation and filtration of the sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 according to the equation to yield ammonia and calcium chloride. The ammonia is reused in the process and 50% of the carbon 4 oxide used in the process can be recovered during the heating of sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 and reused. Being a continuous process, once it starts, little supply of ammonia and carbon 4 oxide will be needed while the calcium chloride is obtained as a byproduct of the process. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like this video 
follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe to this channel for more interesting educational videos.